And that's Mark Newman upside down and on his way out of it, a very big roll. We saw Mark Newman and G-Max Jr. touch at the end of lap one, or halfway through lap one, and now they've touched again. And this, the catastrophic result, you can see that Newman is crawling out from that. He's unhurt, but that's more than you can say for the car. That went over several times, and that looks like an ex Allen Langridge car now. Ekblom and Elliott still the same distance apart. And good work on Elliott's part because the gap back to Richard Dean seems to be increasing. This is the moment for Mark Newman. Those sparks struck by the wheel rims, not the car on fire. And that came down hard on the roll cage and the whole thing held together and did the job properly and allowed Mark Newman to crawl out from the wreckage. But I wouldn't mind betting he's got some scratches on his crash helmet.